In this video, we are gonna be talking about Shifter, Ableton's brand new device. What's up guys, my name's Noah. I make music as Haterade here for Sonic Academy. So if you aren't aware by now, Ableton released their 11.1 .1 update, which comes with a few changes. One of which is Ableton's new Shifter device, which is sort of like the frequency shifter, but with a few more features. So we're gonna talk about that today. I've got a an electric piano here, and we've got shifter. This is the this is what we're going to be paying attention to today. So this is the uh, this is the sound unaffected, and we're going to be looking at these three different modes that shifter has: pitch, frequency, and ring. So the pitch is just a pitch shifter, and it basically works similar to the way that the warp modes work in Ableton. The frequency is the, obviously, the frequency shifter, which we all know and love. And then, as you probably know about the frequency shifter of old, is it also has a ring mod. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Most of the controls are really similar, but there are some minor differences. So let's talk about pitch first. Pitch, like I said, really acts like a transposition knob in a sampler. So if we take this up... You can hear that fluttering start to increase as we pitch up and going down. Similar outcome there. The window is the size of those grains. I mean, you guys are probably familiar with uh, how granular synthesis works. It's essentially just taking small little pieces of a sound, transposing them and playing them in succession. The window is the size of those clips. probably automate that for some really cool effects. Next, we have the fine tune knob. This is pretty standard for pretty much any pitch shifting. You can obviously transpose it by semitones or by sense, which is sort of just a sort of on a micro level. Selecting the wide button creates a separation between the left and the right. And you can hear when I bring up that, it also turns it into spread. Just creating some stereo width right there. Here we have the tone, which is essentially just a low pass filter. And then we have the delay, which is really simple. It's just a, it's just a simple delay here. We could switch it between milliseconds and time delay there. Let's turn off the delay for now. Right here we have the LFO mode, and the LFO mode allows us to make modulation to the pitch or the ring modulator or the frequency shifter. So let's uh, let's bring up the spin. In the spin, you can see how we have an orange and a blue line. That's the separation between the left and the right. So this will create some stereo width too, because remember, stereo width is any difference we have between the left and the right speaker. Then we have the duty C, which stands for duty cycle. And this just creates some space in between each of those modulations. So let's go to the sign here. So you can see we have a regular sign and then we're slowly pushing those over and it's creating that space in between each one. We can mess with the rate here too. And just like the delay, we have a hertz value and time value. So that's the LFO portion. Now let's go to the envelope follower. Now, if you're familiar with the envelope follower, it takes the incoming signal, any sort of envelope, and we can shape that using our attack and release. You can hear this pretty clearly on drums. Let's switch it to the frequency shifter mode here. And we'll bump up that amount. It also goes down into the negative values as well as the positive. Try it on a kick drum. Do 
you get some really cool results that way. Jumping back to the electric piano, let's check out the settings for the frequency shifter and the ring mod. So you can see when we switch from the pitch to frequency, a couple of things change. We don't have our window size anymore because we're now in frequency shifter mode. So this is just the same as the old frequency shifter. It's got our knob, our fine tune here. And all the settings for the LFO section are the same as the pitch. The frequency shifter is one of my favorite tools in Ableton, so the fact that they added all this extra functionality is really awesome to me. Then going to the ring modulation mode. Kind of makes it sound like a bell now. So this has all the same controls as the frequency shifter mode except for one, and that is the drive. So we can increase the drive and sort of create a little bit of saturation here too. And obviously we have our mix knob, dry wet, if you wanted to just subtly mix in these effects. There's a lot of capability and a lot of possibility with this new device. So I hope you guys get a lot out of it. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit like on the video and subscribe to Sonic Academy, putting out new videos all the time. And be sure to go to sonicacademy.com to check out all of our latest tutorials. We have over 1300 hours of content on there just for you guys. Go check it out. We'll see you there.